Hey guys, it's me, Patrick Smith, with Cure for Ignorance and Guns Safe Academy in Omaha, Nebraska. Kind of going off topic, usually I talk about guns and stuff like that. Kind of talking about survival gear, I guess, a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> never really did much with paracord, uh, like at all. Uh, the last couple of days, uh, I started looking into paracord more. Uh, and for me, the use of paracord, its purpose, <clears throat> um, besides using it to hold a parachute, uh, is going to be for emergency use rope, twine, fishing line, boot laces, making splints, making litters, that kind of thing, in the woods. Um, and if you want to wear it around town, then that's more of a fashion statement. Um, it can be less useful. So to me, it's, it's hiking equipment, and it's, if you, it's something that if you need rope, if you need twine, you need it very quickly. Uh, so I've had a couple, couple buddies give me some paracord bracelets here in the, in the last month. Never owned paracord bracelets before. I uh, had paracord before, uh, used it to make um, uh, mark out range distances um, for pistol classes, used it for boot laces, that kind of thing. Never worn a paracord bracelets before. Uh, so my buddy DJ gave me the black one, and then my buddy Chris uh, gave me the red one. And uh, so I started looking at them closer, and it's a, it's a nice thing, they call that a millipede we uh, weave. Uh, most of them I see online are this kind of weave. Um, so I, was, I wanted to know what kind of cordage you get out of this, how useful it really is. Uh, so I, I went to Menards, I bought more, I bought like probably five more uh, of the red ones because they were uh, they were on sale. Um, originally I wasn't planning on taking them apart. Um, I added one to my tack vest here as a quick release uh, using molly sticks from ITS Tactical uh, for a med pouch for the tack vest. I uh, hadn't really planned on doing anything else with it. Uh, well, I took it apart and uh, it took me three and a half minutes to get this uh, one red bracelet apart and it yielded eight foot three inches of paracord. Um, and it is one solid strand. Uh, it's not gutted. It's got seven strands on the inside of it. I cut it and counted them. Um, so eight feet, eight foot three, not bad. But it took me three and a half minutes to get to it. Um, again, I'm thinking it's more survival stuff. Um, this is my, oh crap, should have packed more than one tourniquet uh, kind of thing uh, when you're hiking. So to me, I, I needed something, to, yeah, carry it, uh, but I wanted something to deploy faster. Uh, look on YouTube, which you are already, uh, and look at fast deployment uh, paracord. You're going to find a ton of videos. Uh, a lot of them look really similar to that. Um, but it's stuff that you can recover very quickly. Um, this is a bracelet I made myself. Again, I didn't start weaving paracord until about three days ago. Uh, and this is a quick deployment piece of paracord. Uh, I made this so it wraps around my wrist twice. Um, this is the second bracelet I ever made. Um, and uh, this gives me, uh, in about 17 inches uh, of, of length here, this gives me about 21 feet of rope. Um, so not the best ratio. I'm getting like a, a foot, one foot, two inches, one foot, three inches, something like that, uh, per length. Um, give you an idea of how this takes apart, though. And I'll link the videos that I myself watched to learn how to how to how to weave this. Um, you've got a half hitch here at the end. Okay, you pull it back through the loop that releases the thing I was using to uh, to to catch the knot on the other end. Okay, and once more, pulls it out through the tabs, and from this side we got what we call an Ashley knot. You grab the Ashley knot and you pull, okay? And as you pull, the entire thing comes unraveled. And I made this one a little tight. Again, I'm still still learning, but there it goes. So, instead of three and a half minutes and getting eight feet of cordage, I spent, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, and I have over 20 feet of line. Um, to me, it's a heck of a lot more useful. Um, so, research quick deployment stuff. Um, now, of course, you, you can't learn how to weave anything with paracord without making something for your wife. So, uh, that's that's my wife's bracelet. Um, I brought it to the video not just to show you my wonderful craftsmanship and the lovely hearts we have in there, uh, but to talk about the double color or the multiple color uh, paracord bracelets. Uh, very cute. Again, a lot of people wear these for more of a fashion statement than anything else. Um, <clears throat> to me, 
there are two ways to figure out how much paracord is in something. You take it apart and you measure it, or you measure it and you build it yourself. Um, and this one we've got about three and a half feet of pink paracord uh, and about four and a half feet of black paracord. Um, again, there's two separate pieces. Uh, so you can use that for smaller things. You can probably get a tourniquet or two out of that. You can probably get a boot lace out of that. Uh, you can probably make a bow drill out of that if you uh, don't have any other means of creating fire, which I usually try to carry at least two or three means of, carrying, of uh, creating fire when I'm out hiking, even though we're never gone more than a day. Um, so these, very cute, not very useful. Um, so, of course, anything worth doing is worth overviewing. Uh, so I researched a quick deploy method for a, uh, there's, there's three lines here, it's kind of hard to see, it's black. Uh, first one was two, so I was trying to find out something where I can still carry about 14 to 15 feet of cord on my wrist without having to wrap it twice. And that's where this guy comes in. And I actually have a, uh, had it closed with a uh, screw and open link. And I'm talking to a buddy of mine, and he always thought it'd be cool to have a rifle sling out of paracord. So there's your uh, one and a quarter inch webbing, uh, waiting on some hardware to come in for him. Um, I have a Magpul, uh, uh, I forget what you call it, um, sling attachment for the one end. Um, but the actual paracord portion of this uh, is just put together uh, with these uh, 1 8 inch uh, screw open links uh, from Menars, a dollar nine a piece. They have a 200 pound test, 200 pound working load on them. Um, so I have no trouble believing that uh, this sling with those attachments just like it is would hold up 200 pounds uh, easily. Uh, now this sling is 26 inches long. Uh, again, I use a three braid method to it. There's, there's three lines going down the center. Uh, you take off this, this sling on the end. Again, you get your, your half hitch there, pull it back through, open it up, grab your Ashley knot, and in less than a minute, this turns into 47 feet of rope. So again, that's a lot more useful. So you can make this for uh, for a strap for a bag, okay? If you're carrying a bag while you're hiking, uh, to me, more cordage is, is, is more useful than short pieces like you get with these decorative ones. Um, so there you go. Uh, I've been researching and looking at paracord for about three days here, and it occurs to me that 90% of the paracord people are wearing is uh, too slow to deploy, and so it's essentially worthless. Uh, so, buy the cordage yourself. Uh, watch a YouTube video, learn how to braid it. It doesn't take that long. Making one of those wrist bracelets, that, that thing I showed you is, you know, 22 feet of cordage on my wrist, took me 15 minutes to braid, okay? And it's a lot more useful. Uh, so go for, if you're gonna buy a braid, uh, go for something that says quick, it's quick release, and it only has one color to it, because it's gonna be a lot more useful for you. Um, that's the video. Again, Patrick Smith, Gun Safe Academy in Omaha, Nebraska, and the YouTube channel Cure for Ignorance. Thanks a lot, guys.